hello guys once again welcome to lali's edu hub and today we are going to do something very exciting that is how to digitize in google earth pro and opening the file in your arc uh, map software so this is the interface of our golet pro and you might be wondering how to get the software so to get the software you can open your web browser and in your search box you can type google earth pro let's see here you search for it and you come to install google earth pro download the application accept and download so when you click on it a box will appear for you to save it you save it and you start installing it one good thing about the software is about the application is you don't need any license to activate it so once you download and install then you can start using it so this is our interface this is our axing if you have a mouse you can zoom in using the mouse or zoom out if you have the if you want to use the traditional one this is the zoom in and zoom out and this is your rotation this is your layers your place mark layer your polygon layer your third or add path layer and this are also your layer so as you can see and um, i have created some layers here already so to create a new one you can come to your add section here and you click on add folder so let's say so any name you want to create then you create so what do you want to digitize you want to digitize your house your church your building what have you so to do that you need to know or get the exact location you like to digitize so let's say i want to digitize the legon campus so you search it in your search engine and you click on search so it is going to um, zoom into your selected location and in order to see this same feature you need to make sure you have an active internet connection otherwise you are not going to get the exact feature you want so let's select a location we would like to digitize so let's say we want to digitize this area so you zoom in very nicely okay so let's assume in we want to digitize this area so to do that you need to create a folder and to do that you come to your add folder and we can say legon campus legon campus digitizing let's put it that way legon campus digitizing then you can add your description so your description could be what maybe um you are trying to say we'll be digitizing so digitizing digitizing buildings roads trees and etc so whatever you want to do you can add it to your description section and you click on okay so now that we have our folder let's start with the polygon feature so you can come to add polygon and it's there and let's say this is a lecture hall so lecture hall a lecture hall b lecture hall c lecture hall d so you have to, let's try to digitize this whole feature so let's say lecture hall then as usual you can give it a location so you can also change the color the width and the opacity so let's try to um, digitize it in a black format click on ok you can change the width and when you're done you don't click on ok you leave it as such you can move it around 
and you start your digitizing. So you left click and it starts to select the section for you. So when you're done, then you can click on OK, and it's there. It is a nasty digitizing all the way. But for the sake of time, when you're doing it, you need to um, take time when digitizing. So let's try to digitize this section too. So let's see, it is a residential home. So residential, or let's just say hall. Then give it a description. Still want to go for the black. We digitize it nicely. And quickly, so as you can see, even it has a name here, Frank Toto Chemistry Building. So you can um, input it there, so it will be nice. So let's say um, Frank Toto Chemistry Building. Then you can click on OK. And yeah, cool. So we have two. Then let's try to digitize the road. So let's start from this section. So you can see this is one road. So assuming it has a name. So you can see um, Frank. Let's name it Franklin, Franklin one. Click on OK. Let's also say this is another lane. So we can see Franklin two, Frank Lane two or road two. Then you click on OK. So you can digitize as many road as you want. So we have four items here, and it's OK. So if you want, you can digitize as many features as you want. So when you are done, you need to go back to your folder, which is indicated here. Right click on it and click on save place as so when it comes all you need to do is to select a location um to save it so you can navigate to where you like to save it and give it a name so let's say legon campus digitizing 
then we are saving the file type as. So mostly, um, we save it in the form of the KML, which is the Keyhole Makeup Language. So that is normally how we save it, the Keyhole Makeup Language. So it is nothing difficult. It's just um, a file format used to display um, the data in a browser, such as the Google Earth Pro. Yeah. And then the KMZ is the key um, keyhole makeup zipped. So it's in a zip format. So we are using the KML. You click and you save it nicely. Gun campus digitizing. So when we are done, now the next thing you can uncheck it. And as you can see, it's gone. Check it back and it's there. Uncheck it's gone. Check it back. And it's there and you can and close it so it can look smaller so the next thing we want to do is to open it in our ArcMap software so let's try to open the software and we we'll also learn how to connect your KML file format in your ArcMap it is not going to open directly because sometimes the ArcMap doesn't recognize it unless we convert it to the GDB, um, that is the Geo Database format. So ArcMap doesn't recognize anything like the key makeup hole. So it recognizes it in the form of a Geo Database. So we need to convert it in a Geo Database form. So to do that, once again, we come to your catalog section and you click on your toolbox so as you can see we have two box here you click on the toolbox system toolbox and you scroll through to search for conversion tools conversion tools toolbox tbx then we click on it so it has a lot of features we have from Excel, we have from GPS, we have from KML, we have from PDF, from Rasta, and what have you. So we are going to use from KML. So we are trying to convert it. So we use from KML. So you click on it, KML. So KML, KML to layer. Then we select this one. So this menu pops up. So it says convert a KML or a KMZ file into a feature class and a layer. So the layer file maintains the symbology found within the original KML. So nothing changes. You are just trying to convert it. It's like converting from PDF to MS Word. So here we are trying to convert from KML to the Geo database. So the first thing you ought to do is to select your input file you want to convert. So the input file is Legon digitizing. So as you can see, this is it. And it's in the KML format. So we select and we click on open. And it's going to pop up here. Yeah. So now we need an output file. So we need to give it a location where we want to see it. So once again, go back to your folder connection. And I like to save my ads GIS data. So I click on GIS data and then I click on where I want to save it and I click on add. Or let me take a step back GIS data and then add. Then you can give it an optional name. I want to do it GIS digitizing. Then I click on OK. So it's going to take some few seconds for it to show. And when it show at the right hand side of your screen, it is going to show whether it was a success or it was a failure. So if, if it is a success, if it's a success, it's going to show in a green format. And if it's a failure, it's going to show up in a red format. So as you can see, it shows up in a green format. That is KML to layer. So as you can see, this is what we digitized. So this was the buildings we digitized. And as you can see, 
So in case it didn't pop up directly, you can come to your catalog section. Then you go to your folder connection. Then you open it from here. Then you open it from here. Drag and drop it nicely. So you, you see it's a polyline and a polygon. So you can open your attributes table um, to see all your property. So you can open to your properties and see the display. So change transparency. Is there the group? So it's in a form we did it in a line and a polygon. And it's there very nicely. So this is how to um, open um, or digitize, how to open a digitized information from your Gullet Pro in ArcMap. So guys, I do hope you will enjoy, you enjoy this video and I hope you subscribe to my channel and you like and share. So if should you open your attributes table, it is going to show up here. So the shape was in the form of a polygon and a Z lecture hall, the name was a lecture hall and the other polygon was the other polygon was um, a road so you can come to selection make this the selectable layer then select it so as you can see Legon hall campus let's try to bring this here so we click on this and it's showing here Legon hall should we click on this it's going to show the same way and you can go back and select this one open attributes table and you can see it's a polyline so the same way you can right click again selection make this a selectable layer and you select um, what we did so guys this is all about digitizing and converting it in a database to open in your app map i do hope you like this video please give it some credits by liking commenting your views and subscribing see you guys in my next video bye bye